Hello everybody, my name is Kyle Lee, aka Kilo Loco from KiloLoco.com, and today we're going to be going over the UI Activity View Controller um, sharing on other apps. Uh, this is a very simple tutorial, um, should be pretty quick. We're just going to be using Xcode 9 Beta 2, Swift 4. All you really need to know how to do is understand presenting view controllers. If for some reason whatsoever you want to see this project file, it'll be right there at that github link alright let's get into it real quick alright I'm gonna start off with a brand new application um, because it's so simple and we'll just do single view application call this let's share and we'll get into it save it in the KL learning because that's where I learn ya and we get going so only thing that we're gonna do for this is we're gonna add a text field and a, sh and a button that's all we really need for this UI quite simple really don't even need constraints to do this so we'll just stretch that on out there we go and then you know the common uh, call to action for most apps is uh, what's on your mind uh, let's put a question mark make it look a little bit pretty and then a button. That's all we really need. And we'll just call that share. There we go. Let's go ahead and con connect our stuff up. Uh, don't need any of this. I'm going to just erase that. We have an IB outlet, which is our text field. So we var text field of you guessed it UI text field and then an action IB action funk on share tapped All right and let's go ahead and connect that and it's 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 pretty it's pretty dang simple if you ask me this is all we really have to do buttons and text fields i mean obviously you can make things a little bit nicer in your app i would most certainly hope so especially if it's going to the app store but you know if it gets approved by apple then hey whatever floats your boat okay so all we're gonna do is we're gonna um, present whatever text is in the text field uh to whatever app we choose to share with now um, this is part of UI kit you don't even have to import anything which is awesome it uses other frameworks like social the the social framework um, to access things like Facebook and um, Twitter uh, but if you just do it this way it's really simple um, it's really simple really easy so we'll do let activity controller that's what I just choose to call it equal UI activity view controller and then this is the only way that you can initialize the thing right so you have activity items oh let me make that font bigger for you guys my bad there we go there we are bam big sexy for you yeah alright so the activity items that's what you plan on posting that's the content so um, there's a number of different things that you can pass um, as an activity item um, we're gonna just be showing how to do uh, strings and uh, images for this one but you could uh, send uh, data uh, like NS data but it's data now um, you can send uh, URLs um, any it, it just really depends on which app you're you're posting to and then based off of what which app can take in those types of um input those are the apps that are going to be presented when um you're presented with the action sheet or when the user is presented with the action sheet so let's just get going and you have to have at least one source so we're just going to use the text from this text um, field so let's go ahead and wrap that in a array it has to be in, in an array so we'll do text field dot text and then you have to force unwrap it I'm not I'm 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 gonna just go crazy with it now the application activities uh, this is pretty much if you want to specify um, which applications can open this type of thing uh, this type of uh, 
this type of sharing pretty much um, we're not going to get into that uh, it, it really just depends on what what your target is for your app and I would have to go into using other apps and that type of thing I just want to show you a really quick tutorial on how to do this guys so all we have to do is present and we'll present the activity controller animate it always because uh, we like things to be sexy and that that's it literally two lines of code will give you sharing inside your app this is all you need to do okay so let's see how this works so I have my phone connected because uh, there's a bunch of different oh see that OS version lower than target deployment let me just change that because uh, when you make a new project on beta it automatically goes to 11 but whatever um, as I was saying um, it depends on what apps are installed on your phone and then that will let you access them Whoops. and um, this is just one of the ways that you can share um, in an app but um, there are other ways like I said like I mentioned earlier the social framework or a social library you can do it through there as well and then you can have just one button so that it goes like automatically to Twitter or automatically to Facebook or whatever other um, app that you're trying to um, access as long as it supports it so um, what's on my mind um, this is a tutorial bam alright and then now I press share and we get presented with this now um, notice that there's all kinds of different things that you can do um, I could share to my MacBook Pro so if I do that, look at I received an airdrop. I'm gonna open it, and notice that it opens in a text file. That's pretty cool. Okay, um, what if I wanted to share on Twitter? Notice that it pre-populates the um, the post, the Twitter post, with uh, whatever um, you had specified, or in the in the text field, whatever the the input is. Um, so this is a tutorial and then if I want to do posts you know you can choose your account you can choose your location all that other stuff that you would normally be able to do so that sends um, a tweet out on my Twitter account so if I go over to Twitter and as you can see I was playing with it earlier um, let's see should be here yeah, this is a tutorial. See, 22 seconds ago. So that's pretty cool. Um, let's get back into that app. So um, the only weird thing that I've noticed about using the UI activity um, view controller is that for some reason it doesn't work that great with um, with Facebook. So notice when you pull up Facebook that it doesn't populate that text in there. Um, I'm not really sure why. Uh, but if you use the social, the social um, framework, which I, I could do a tutorial on that too, if you guys are interested, um, then you can probably fix this bug. But with the UI, um, you know what I'm saying. With this controller, it doesn't it doesn't seem to work that well. It works with pictures, but it doesn't work with um, with text. Now you'll notice everything else will work. Like so, my messages. If I wanted to send a message to somebody, auto populates. Um, if oh this is the the app, if I wanted to do my buffer, goes in there. See this is a tutorial. So you can share any any number of ways, guys. Um, notice you can also copy down here. You can add it to the iCloud. All kinds of different things your mail Evernote and this is a really great way to make your app extend into other apps so that the user has more um, functionality and they feel like your app is truly connected to their other apps um, let let me just show you real quickly how to uh, do an image so if you had an image this would be one way that you could do it so I'm gonna just put it in the um, the assets and we'll just copy if needed did it drop it in assets? It didn't. So let me just put it in here. There we go. All right. So I'm going to just send this image. And what I'll do is I'll go back to the view controller. And since I know what it's called, I can just put it in here into my activity items. 
right I'll clean it up a little bit for you guys so the activity items is now they're now gonna also take my image so since it's called cosmos or what is it called yeah cosmos 07 it just automatically lets me select it which is a beautiful thing about uh I think it was Xcode 8 point 8.3 that did that awesome feature um, now when I run the app it will also include that image as part of it so obviously you want to you don't want to do this as a hard code or like a hard coded image but you can allow your users the ability to select an image and incorporate that with their post when they're using your app to post into other social um, networks or any other type of app that you want your app to interact with so let's go ahead and try this again um, this one has a picture all right all right so we have all the same things once again if I do my MacBook Pro now it'll send me the actual image if I open this get this big old giant image sent it to me that's pretty cool if you ask me um, once again Twitter will allow it so that's pretty cool um, but this time since uh, like I said Facebook doesn't let you do the um, the text from UI activity controller like that it will let you do the image though so that's pretty cool so if I post this image on my Facebook see posted look at all this built-in UI that's that's already part of it it's really awesome if you ask me uh, we go to my Facebook I don't even know where Facebook is because I really don't go on Facebook so if we go to my Facebook bam right there just now see that so it's 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 really cool it's a really cool really simple feature to whoa okay no not me <laughs> okay all right so really cool um, make sure you throw that in your apps it's really simple as you can see two lines of coding and it you're in you're in business you're in you're in sharing business um, you can build this out but to just get things going this is all you need all right so that's gonna be all today guys um, like to keep them um, try to keep the videos a little bit shorter I'm working on getting them shorter so I'm breaking them down into smaller pieces um, don't want to ramble on too much check the description for all the links and all that other stuff uh, once again my name is Kyle Lee aka Kilo Loco from KiloLoco.com and uh, make sure you subscribe all right later oh and code passionately duh